actually going beyond the talking phase towards implementing a master data model. Those are the main, main challenges right now. And it's a movement that I believe now has political strength to actually migrate across the pond over here as well. There's a groundswell movement called digital sovereignty as a response to GDPR in Europe, where people are realizing that they have the right to be sovereign over their data, their digital exhaust, yeah. their digital footprint online. And, th and that's a two-way street. You, you want and demand control over your data, but on the other hand, your identity, you know, which you control, yeah. has to be authentic as opposed to a fake identity. And, and you know, your, your, your reputation has to be out there as well. GDPR is a regulation that is going to impact any company that is holding data about a European Union citizen. And it's an area that Veritas can really solve problems in, but we didn't know a lot of the legal and compliance buyers, which often are the ones making the purchase decisions in this case. We have been so thrilled to see that our existing advocates in um, the backup space have been bringing us into conversations. And in Europe, what we've done so successfully now is actually bring the two groups together in round tables and have our current customers bring us into conversations with legal and compliance. And it's creating for them stronger connections within the business. And that makes them more relevant to their, uh, their bosses and those other lines of business. And there's a lot of, of uh, proactive or positive feedback around that that I think is what marketers and sales should be thinking about. It's not about having to go around, it's about how do I bring you with me. So as you grow up. From, from an HPE perspective, uh, you're not going to solve GDPR with any specific point product, right? And that's, it's not really our message to the market that you implement this and you're going to go satisfy those requirements. It's definitely part of a, a solution, but what we've been trying to do is you see we've got the silicone root of trust on the server side and a number of security features and we're talking about how we integrate that with uh, the storage. We're starting to bring together a more of a vertically oriented stack that includes all those pieces and that they work together. So instead of having a, a security or a commonality layer at the server layer, at the networking layer, at the storage layer, thinking about it as a service that's right. more vertically oriented to the stack, where you're able to take a look at all aspects of the networking, uh, what's going on with the firmware and the operating system, and all, and all the way down to essentially your... GDPR is certainly creating a milestone, kind of a trigger for people to really think about their data assets. And it's, but it's certainly even larger than that because when you even think about driving a digitization of a business, driving new business models, and connecting data and finding new use cases, it's all about finding the data you have, understanding what it is, where it came from, what's the lineage of it, who had access to it, what did they do to it. These are all governance kinds of things which are also now mandated by laws like GDPR. And so it's all really coming together in the context of this, the new modern data architecture era that we live in, where a lot of data that we have access to, we didn't create. And so it was created outside the firewall by a device, by some application running with some customer. And so interpret, capturing and interpreting and governing that data is very different than taking derivative transactions from an ERP system, which were already adjudicated and understood, uh, and governing that kind of, of a data structure. And so this is, a, this is a need that's driven from many different perspectives. It's driven from the new architecture, the way IoT devices are connecting and just creating a data bomb. That's one thing. It's driven by business use cases of saying just where, what are the assets that I have access to and how can I try to determine patterns between those assets where I didn't even create some of them. So how do I adjudicate them? So thanks for the question. Uh, GDPR, of course, is the hot topic uh, across all European organizations. And we're actually pretty well prepared. Uh, we compiled all the processes and uh, the necessary regulations. And in fact, we are now selling this also as a service product to our customers. This has been an interesting side effect because we have lots of other insurance companies. And we started to think about why not offer this as a service to other insurance companies it's to help them prepare service. for GDPR. And That's this is smart. actually proving to be one of the <laughs> <laughs> exciting, interesting things that can happen about GDPR. <laughs>